This is for third grade ELA tech set series study Diana Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. Over the next several days, we will be reading books written by Deanna Hutz Aston and illustrated by Sylvia Long. This book is called An Egg is Quiet. It is a nonfiction book about eggs. What do you already know about eggs? So, um, do you see the eggs on this book? As they read the labels and talk about the various eggs. So we have green lace wing right here. Pa passion vine butterfly. There's their egg. We have the black napped stilt. Green vegetable bug. We have the Harlem bug right here. Very good. Look at the sizes and the color. This book is all about eggs of kinds of eggs. You might be surprised at what you learn. As we read this book, listen for facts you did not know before and think about how this author prevents information in the book. Alright, so I'm going to display these eggs for you. So, I want you guys to look at the different eggs I don't want you to read all the labels, but um, I do want you, if you have any questions, you can ask. An egg is quiet. It sits there under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet, the emperor pig, penguin. Buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. An egg is colorful. An egg is shapely. There are round eggs. There are oval eggs. Sea turtles dig a hole in the sand with their flippers and lay up to 200 soft round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. <laughs> when ladybugs hatch as larvae, their first meal is often the egg case they crawl out of. Ooh. So these are painty eggs and these are even turbular eggs. Seabird eggs are pointy at one end, so if they're laid on rocks, ledges, they roll around in safe little circles, not off the cliff. While most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like the lesser spotted dogfish, begin life in a leathery egg case with tendrils. The tendrils and ant arch the eggs to seaweed so they won't be swept away by the ocean current. So does anything on these pages surprise you? And what is it? What surprises you? The markings on some eggs help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. An egg is clever. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it. Or it might be gray, the color of mud, by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a tacon or a snake or a fox or an insect. So let's find the egg on this page. Can you see any of these eggs? Can you find them? Can you find the eggs? Why is it so hard to find? Why are these, hard, are these eggs hard to find? An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round it takes two hands to hold one egg. Eggs come in different sizes. 
Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. An egg is artistic. All eggs on this page larger than actual size, meaning they are tiny. They are pretty though. Look at the illustrations on these page pages. What do you think the author means when she says that an egg is artistic? An egg is textured. There are hard eggs, bird eggs are hard, and soft eggs. Reptile eggs are often soft and tubbery. And gooey eggs, amphibian eggs are gooey. The goo keeps them from drying out. There are smooth eggs. Most bird eggs are smooth and rough eggs. The eggs of cassowaries, emus, and cormorants are rough. An egg might even be fossilized. The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become rock hard or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossils, fossilized dinosaur eggs all around the world. Some are round and some are oblong. Some are, are, are as small as one inch across and some are as large as 20 inches. Scientists believe all dinosaurs hatch from eggs. An egg is giving. So look at the egg cycle. Egg cycle. An egg gives the little creature growing inside it everything it needs. The shell is its home. The yolk is its food. The egg white or alberine is its pillow. The shell is covered with teeny tiny holes which allow air to enter. An egg is quiet then suddenly an egg is noisy. Crunch cheap. Beep. Cheap. Beep. Look at all the birds. How do you think these birds are related to the gallery of eggs at the beginning of the book? Oh, interesting. Let's go back into the, the gallery of eggs. So there's the gallery of eggs that we saw. Right? And now, what happened? The end.